Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Deus Ex. Today's gonna be a quick one, we're just gonna do our second visit to UNATCO headquarters. Let's talk to Jock first. I'll take you back to the city after you check in with Manderley. I'll take you back to the city after you check in with Manderley. Alright, let's go check out the comm van for goodies. There's a lock pick here behind the back corner. The code remains 0451. Janine's bots, specs and overview, Matsu Gravis R-118 repair bot. The Matsu Gravis R-118 is characteristic of all bots in the MG repair line, an autonomous unit capable of a wide range of repair, maintenance, and construction tasks. By default, the R-118 is equipped with a Kroya Searchlight 3 Argon laser attached to the standard MG IRL arm, gang optics and visual processing, a self-recharging bioelectric battery, wireless command control, and 16 gigabytes of internal memory for a superior amount of task customization at an affordable price. The bioelectric interface adheres to the same light standard pioneered by MG and adopted by most other companies around the world, allowing all units in the R-Line to act as mobile bioelectric rechargers if necessary. There are a couple of flares on the desk. We can use the repair bot to recharge our energy. Most of the way, I'll get the other 5% after a minute. Now even though he's repairing the terminal, it actually still works. Login satcom, password unatco underscore zero zero one, but we can't do anything with it. So while he's recharging, we can thankfully just open the hatch, head down into it. All that's here now is a multi-tool, but I say all, but that's actually quite useful, isn't it? It's 22 more seconds, but I might as well go ahead and get that last 5% while I'm here and it's free. The repair bot can restore up to 75 points of bioelectric energy every 60 seconds. Uh, you'll see the rest of Liberty Island is closed off. We can never get out there again, sadly. Welcome back. Your mission was a success. Just about the only bright side of the operation, unfortunately. Report to Manderley for a briefing. So our primary goal is now simply report to Manderley. Let's talk to these two guys first. Mr. Dan. Yeah? The prisoners on level 3 are a sensitive matter. Leave the interrogations to Mr. Simons. You are authorized to receive your orders from Joseph Manderley, after which you will return to the helipad. Simons? You guys from DC? What agency? Please proceed to Manderley's office. We will expect to see you shortly. Do not question the prisoners yourself. We will be waiting. I do not understand the reason for your delay. Interesting behavior, Mr. Dent. Do not question the prisoners yourself. These guys are hardcore. You see the eye tattoo on their backs? Or, or on the back of their necks? We'll be dealing with plenty of them later. We will be waiting. Interesting behavior, Mr. Dent. Let's talk to these guys. Liberty Island is off limits. The island has been declared a crime scene and will be the subject of a thorough investigation. From now on, all travel to and from HQ will be by copter. Cold and dark. Yunatko is going to make sure what happened tonight doesn't happen again. They're bringing in experts from Washington. Carry on, Agent. From now on, all travel to and from HQ will be by copter. Yunatko is going to make sure what happened tonight doesn't happen again. Agent? Gunther's full of it. Earlier tonight, in the statue, I bet you had at least half a dozen takedowns. At least. Still haven't had a chance to clean my gun. I'd like to know what the feds are doing down in the cell block. Agent? They told us to hang tight. Objectives remain, apparently. 
Agent Navarro was grinding gears over how you handled Castle Clinton. Not hard to flip her switch, is it? <coughs> they told us to hang tight. Objectives remain, apparently. That newspaper's nothing new. Don't worry about what the guys are saying about Hell's Kitchen. If it wasn't for the warehouse, I'm sure you would have helped out with the firefight in front of the hotel. I know for a fact from when you were at the Academy that you can do more than throw gas grenades and use a prod. They're full of it. <laughs> I know for a fact from when you were at the Academy that you can do more than throw gas grenades and use a prod. They're full of it. We still don't have his password. It's the only one we don't have, so we'll hack his computer. See what we can find. No email today. That makes it easy. Let's head in. Talk to Scott. Manderly said he's busy, but to wait outside his office. Manderly said he's busy, but to wait outside his office. That's it, apparently. Okay. Those jerks from Washington think they own the place. Never mind Anna Navarra. She hates everybody. Agent? Long night, huh? Agent Navarro was grinding gears over how you handled Castle Clinton. Not hard to flip her switch, is it? So in this left office, we have another lockpick. Just filling out a report on the mop-up operation. I saw quite a bit of action today. It's our old friend Corporal Collins from the dock. I think they give us these things to make sure we don't forget how to read and write. Is it five kills get you the red eye? I think I'll put five. I saw quite a bit of action today. We don't have this password either, so we'll have to hack it. No email today. Uh, that's against protocol, Agent. Let's head to the other office on level one. Unlocked now, anyway. There's some trank darts in here, and uh, looks like that's all. Head down here next. There's nothing behind this panel now. There's some pistol ammo in the crate. Nothing in this closet. Let's go to the break room next. But, oh, this is new. Righteous Angels, Perspectives on Unatco by Wendy White. Chapter 2, The New Seraphim. As the giddiness that greeted the new millennium faded to grim apathy in the face of plague, famine, and the inevitable waves of national convulsions that followed in their wake, the United Nations found itself increasingly outmoded and unable to cope with the worldwide rise in terrorism. Tensions between the affluent, walled away within private enclaves, and those less fortunate escalated rapidly as basic medical care facilities collapsed under the weight of each new outbreak. The very pervasiveness of the net fractured communities into smaller and smaller special interest groups, and as local police grew increasingly ineffectual and access to deadlier weaponry more commonplace, conflict spilled over national borders and onto the streets of major urban cities. The United Nations was forced to admit that their own military was both outmoded and unequipped to, de to deal with these threats, so a new organization was required. UNATCO, an army of seraphim, divinely charged to mete out impartial justice with burning wings and flaming swords. I don't think we can break this open, but... If I remember right, that's a range mod, and that's definitely worth two lockpicks. Oh, it's recoil. That might not be worth it. Yeah, never mind. A recoil mod is decidedly not worth two lockpicks. Alright, let's talk to these guys. I heard about the raid. 
Don't sweat it. I'm sure Paul had his reasons. Your brother's always one step ahead of the rest of us. You'll see. Tomorrow the coalition will be kissing his ass. You'll see. Tomorrow the... Don't listen to what they're saying about the shootout in the park in Hell's Kitchen. You had other priorities. I saved everyone. I better make my rounds. <laughs> I'd like to know what the feds are doing down in the cell block. We lost a buddy of ours in the park in Hell's Kitchen. Guess there wasn't much you could do. Gunther's full of it. Earlier tonight, in the statue, I bet you had at least half a dozen takedowns. At least. That data cube is new. It gives us a new image. Millennium Magazine. Millennium, the future of business. Bob Page. Will Aquinas change the world? Experts debate. World of unlimited bandwidth. Resurgence in world terrorism. So we go in here. I believe we can rehack the ATM. Seventy-five credits. Don't mind if I do. I think I, I don't think this has changed yet. Oh, it is. Has stopping terror a new per stopping terror a new perspective on freedom. When one maniac can wipe out a city of twenty million with a microbe developed in his basement, a new approach to law enforcement becomes necessary. Every citizen of the world must be placed under surveillance. That means sky cams at every intersection computer-mediated analysis of every phone call, email, and snail mail, and a purely electronic economy in which every transaction is recorded and data mined for suspicious activity. We are close to achieving this goal. Some would say that human liberty has been compromised, but the reality is just the opposite. As surveillance expands, people become free from danger, free to walk alone at night, free to work in a safe place, and free to buy any legal product or service without the threat of fraud. One day, every man and woman will quietly earn credits, purchase items for quiet homes on quiet streets, have cookouts with neighbors and strangers alike, and sleep with doors and windows wide open. If that isn't the tranquil dream of every free civilization throughout history, what is? Anna Navarra, Agent UNATCO. Terrorism. War without fronts. How do we fight an underground threat, one with no defined territory, base, or often known leader? We look to military history. The casebook example of how to manage civil unrest is the Hamlet Evaluation System, HES, developed by the United States military during its occupation of South Vietnam in the 20th century. Since population centers in that country contained both communist rebels and loyal citizens, the towns were ranked on a scale one from 1 to 5, 5 being the safest. The monthly reports of local commanders, useful in Vietnam for maintaining contour maps of ideology concentration, have provided many components of the UNATCO sector field report. The modern UDU, UNATCO deployed unit, has been modeled on the CAP, Combined Action Platoon, deployed in Vietnam, a 15-man rifle squad responsible for a single hamlet. CAP protected villages typically earned a 2.95 HET score, compared to a 1.6 average in the same region. CAP units performed in many mission roles, but they primarily worked with indigenous police to strengthen ideological ties. Like CAP units, UNATCO teams are primarily concerned with building safe communities. Joseph Manderley, Director, UNATCO. Know your enemy, Templars. There is some debate as to whether the Templars should be considered a terrorist organization because they do not employ the typical tools of terrorism. But make no mistake, the Templars are just as dangerous as any other group that might use guns and bombs to intimidate the free citizens of a country. Only the Templars wield blackmail and extortion as their weapons. Supposedly the direct descendant of a so-called secret society with its roots in the medieval crusades, the present-day Templars are mainly concerned with increasing their own bank accounts in elaborately illegal financial manipulations that have left entire markets collapsed in their wake. The Templars are currently classified as inactive after being successfully diminished by a combined UNATCO Interpol raid on their Paris headquarters in 2051. However, several key Templar figures are still at large and may attempt to reform the organization under a new designation. Know your enemy, X-51. Little is known about X-51 aside from their involvement in all manner of illegal research, much of it prescribed by worldwide concords over the last 50 years. Computer profiling shows a high likelihood that X-51 was responsible for the SoCal disaster that submerged much of Southern California, though the exact nature of the experiment that led to the tragedy is still unknown. 
Little other information is available on the overall objective of X-51, if any exists. X-51 is believed to be led by Gary Savage, a scientist previously employed by the United States government for a variety of black projects until he disappeared under mysterious circumstances several years ago. All agents are advised to be vigilant for any indications as to the whereabouts of Savage or other members of X-51 and report them immediately to their operator or immediate superior. And I realized one other thing. We haven't seen a recoil mod before, so we should check out its flavor text. Even though I still don't want to burn two lockpicks getting it. A stock cushioned with polycellular shock absorbing material will significantly reduce perceived recoil. Drag over weapon to upgrade. Weapons highlighted in green can be upgraded with this mod. Although I've done... I will say that I've done a good enough job preserving lockpicks that I'm almost maxed out now. You can only carry 20. Let's go to our office next. Read our email. We know our own password, thankfully. JCD Bionic Man. From J. Reyes. Subject, congrats. Congrats on surviving your first mission, Travis. I know it's all part of the job, but I'm glad to see you back in one piece, more or less, anyways. If you get this message before I get a chance to see you in person, then get your ass down here so I can patch you up. By the way, I hear a few things from up top, and I get the impression that they were definitely taking advantage of this NSF attack to evaluate your performance. So far, everyone seems to be ecstatic. Well, everyone except for Gunther, but he's got his own problems. Keep it up, but keep an eye out, too. I get the impression sometimes that everyone here has their own agenda. Hi, me. From Paul Denton. Subject, watch your back. I don't have much time, so I'm going to have to cut this short. They're going to tell you a lot of things about what went on today, and it's probably all going to get pinned on me. I've got my reasons, but I can't go into them right now. Not over the net. But you've got to trust me that there are reasons. Maybe I can point you in the right direction. Tap a few computers and see what you come up with. Try Manderley's computer if you can risk it. Password is night underscore killer. You might also check Navara's, but I don't have her password. Cold woman, be careful around her. And for that matter, everyone else. P. Alright, let's go to Manderley's office. Before we head any further down. You'll have to wait a minute. Mr. Manderley is busy. You'll have to wait a minute. Mr. Manderley is busy. Hers is J. Reed, password red shoes. Oh, but it's not working. Well, let's hack it then. No email today. Let's talk to Anna now. I was here first. Mr. Mandeley is in a meeting, JC. You'll have to wait. I was told to report for a debriefing. A debriefing. Do not worry. I will state in my report that I was satisfied with your performance. Be quiet. I am trying to listen. A bureaucrat from Washington. See if he asks for any of our opinions. Wait in line. Wait in line. Just fire the arrogant son of a bitch. I wasn't exaggerating. He's our best agent. We don't need him. We've got his brother, and more are on the way. He knows nothing. I think he does. You should never have sent him to Hong Kong. Let's be sensible. We have to look at the whole record. Look, I understand. He was your pet project, but it's out of my hands. Now that the shipment's been lost... I know, I know. I will comply with the order. That's all I ask. Carry on. I'm going downstairs to interrogate the prisoners. I'm gonna talk to this guy as he leaves before he gets all the way downstairs. Agent Denton, at your service. Denton. Yes, I hear you're turning out to be quite an asset to the Coalition. Doing my best, sir. Forgive me, but I do not believe I know your name. We aren't ready for an introduction yet. No, it's not time. Just keep your nose to the pavement. You'll be well rewarded. Trust me. I am next. You aren't needed, Agent. Manderley will give you your orders. I must attend to a sensitive matter. You aren't needed, Agent. I am losing valuable time. I cannot wait forever. He will see you when he's ready. 
I cannot wait forever. He will see you when he's ready. Alright, let's go on in then. Uh, that book is the same. We've got a key to Manderley's office now, which is handy. Hello, JC. Come in. Clerical task first. Your op bonus is split between the Castle Clinton and Warehouse objectives. 500 each. You get the full 1,000 plus 200 for how you handle the hostage situation in the Battery Park subway station. Good work across the board. Thank you, sir. Who is that you are meeting with? Politics, bureaucracy, mismanagement. JC, I've got some bad news. The mission failed. I would have taken out that Jojo punk, but he wasn't even in the warehouse. Never mind that. He slipped out before you even got to New York. What about the shipment? I'm just going to say it straight, JC. Your brother screwed up. We got nothing, and he's taking the heat this time. The Coalition is letting him go. What went wrong? We don't know. He hasn't reported back. The rest of the strike force says he lost his nerve. I think he was trying to avoid casualties. In Hell's Kitchen, instead of clips for the troops, he was issuing tear gas. Whatever the case, now it's your turn. We've got one more chance to retake that shipment. Has it been located? Get any equipment you need from Carter, then take the chopper back to the city. We know they plan to put the Ambrosia on a plane, but we don't know which airfield. Where should I start? If I were the NSF, I'd be moving it through the subways, the abandoned parts of the infrastructure. I'll check out the subways. I have been waiting for 20 minutes. So our new go... Uh, we got a note. The NSF might have moved to the Ambrosia through abandoned parts of the subway system. Her goals, secondary, report to Sam Carter to receive your equipment, primary, locate the airfield where the NSF has moved the Ambrosia, investigate the subway system because the terrorists may be hiding underground. Sorry, Anna. What is it? I would like to be reassigned to Agent Harmon. Why? Is Agent Denton... He completed his objective, but our tactics are incompatible. In other words, he didn't kill everything in sight. He could have made a more thorough search for NSF targets, yes. Hmm. Our pilot jock is waiting for you at the helipad. Let's not be hasty. He will improve. That's what you said about his brother. Let me say this once. That's a sore spot, and you know it. You should have listened to me. Ah, end of meeting. You have a lot to teach, JC. And that's why you're his partner. Nevertheless, I will submit my concerns in writing to Walton Simons, as I did regarding Paul. Let's talk to Anna now. You have your orders for Mr. Manderley. Get moving. Why are you still here? You have your orders for Mr. Manderley. If you see your brother, send him my way. He didn't report back. No messages in the communicator. Don't forget to check in with Carter and Reyes. You have your orders. Let me get back to work. I said carry on. I said carry on. So on the desk, we got another UNATCO closet key in case you didn't have it already. I don't think there's anything in his bathroom. Book. New. Art of War by Sun Tzu. 3. Attack by Stratagem. 1. Sun Tzu said, In the practical art of war, the best thing of all is to take the enemy's country whole and intact. To shatter and destroy it is not so good. So too, it is better to recapture an army entire than to destroy it, to capture a regiment, a detachment or a company entire than to destroy them. 2. Hence, to fight and conquer in all your battles is not supreme excellence. Supreme excellence consists in breaking the enemy's resistance without fighting. I said carry on. We do know his login and password, jmanderley knight underscore killer. From A. Navarra, subject report. As ordered, I have maintained a close watch of Agent Denton during our operation in New York. I have found his performance to be adequate to the task, if not without certain occasional reluctance. But it is my opinion that nano-augmentations in no way compensate for experience, and Agent Denton quite obviously has a considerable amount of learning to do before he can be considered a fully qualified agent. Agent Herman concurs with this evaluation. I will file a more detailed report when time allows. From WS, subject, arrival. 
I will be arriving at liberty later today to survey the situation and assess the viability of the primary subject. Unless there are extenuating circumstances that you've so far failed to present to us, it is our belief that the primary may need to be terminated in favor of the secondary. Continue to profile the secondary's response to authority and mission objectives. If there is any deviation, isolate the subject for debriefing upon my arrival. I said carry on. So let's head down to level three now. Why are you still here? Oops. Carry on, agent. Stop following me. I've already reported you once. I've already reported you once. Men's room. Nothing. I don't think the women's room has anything either. Let's talk to this guy. We lost a buddy of ours in the park in Hell's Kitchen. Guess there wasn't much you could do. We'll go to the med lab next. We got the key to the closet, which is nice. Got another med kit, and that maxes out our med kits. So. Heck, I might as well use one and pick that one up. We've read that already. So this is J. Reyes, password amigo. From Med Directorate. Subject, re Meg Mechog question. Information concerning the mechanism to which you prefer is available only to those with clearance of Throne 6G or higher. Further discussion of this matter with unauthorized personnel will result in disciplinary action. All subsequent questions should be directed to Director Manderley, UNATCO Office of Medical Directorate. While repairing one of our mech augmented agents, I noticed a mechanism within the autonomic regulation system that was not present in any of the documentation I had available. I'm concerned that failure of this mechanism could lead to a complete autonomic shutdown of the agent's vital systems, with the obvious consequences that would entail. I've attached additional CRI scans of the structure and surrounding. Interesting. Here's our med bot. So first I'll heal all my damage. And then, let's check out our available logs. Speed enhancement. Occupy slot legs. Ionic polymeric gel myofibrils are woven into the leg muscles, increasing the speed at which an agent can run and climb, the height they can jump, and reducing the damage they receive from falls. Tech 1. Speed and jumping are increased slightly while falling damage is reduced. Tech 2. Speed and jumping are increased moderately while falling damage is further reduced. Tech 3. Speed and jumping are increased significantly while falling damage is substantially reduced. Tech 4. An agent can run like the wind and leap from the tallest building. Energy rate 40 units per minute. Current level 1 can upgrade. Run silent. Occupy slot legs. The necessary muscle movements for complete silence when walking or running are determined continuously with reactive kinematics equations produced by embedded nanocomputers. Tech 1, sound made while moving is reduced slightly. Tech 2, sound made while moving is reduced moderately. Tech 3, sound made while moving is reduced significantly. Tech 4, an agent is completely silent. Energy rate 40 units per minute, current level 1 can upgrade. I'm gonna go with speed enhancement, here's why. For Run Silent to actually do what it says, let you run silently, you have to upgrade it all the way to Tech 4. That's the only point at which it actually becomes useful for stealthing up to enemies and taking them down. Speed Enhancement, on the other hand, is useful all the way through, even at Tech 1, and it allows you to take pathways you wouldn't otherwise be able to explore by being able to run, run and jump farther, so... We'll do speed enhancement. I'm still going to hold on to my upgrade canister, though. I don't want to upgrade anything I currently have to Tech 2. Still can't get into the restricted area. So let's go talk to Jaime and the trooper he's visiting. Oh, a new book. Medical Management of Biological Casualties Handbook. U.S. Army Medical Research Institute of Infectious Diseases. In addition to their detrimental health effects on the targeted population, biological warfare agents would likely cause significant impacts on the medical care system. 
Massive numbers of patients and demands for intensive care would overwhelm medical resources. Special medications or vaccines not generally available in standard pharmaceutical stocks would be required. Medical care providers and laboratory personnel might need added protection, and autopsy and determent of remains could present hazards not commonly dealt with. I took a few hits tonight. The doc had to operate. We'll get well soon, soldier. Yes, sir. I will. Dr. Reyes said they took the bullet out, but I still feel it in my stomach. It's like a piece of ice. He also said I lost my spleen. Dr. Reyes said they took the bullet out, but I Thanks for talking to my friend. He admires you. I knew what I was getting into when I joined up. Better I take a bullet than an innocent civilian. Just doing my job, sir. Just doing my job, sir. Looks pretty bad down here. Keeps getting worse, too. We must be raining bullets out there. The NSF aren't kidding around. How you holding up? Fine. I lost one of the privates because a refrigeration unit went down. That's always hard. You've got a lot in your hands. Don't beat yourself up over faulty equipment. Better I take a bullet. By the way, we aren't in such shambles that we can't spare a few med kits. Check the storage closet. You certainly made an impression on the troops tonight. Better I take... Looks like it's gonna be a late night for both of us. Looks like it's gonna be a late night for both of us. Alright, let's just cross the hall and visit Alex. We still know his login. A. Jacobson, password Calvo. From Rosie Cross, subject, inquiry. The Oracle says, We find your question interesting. We have several references to entity token MJ-12, but all are ambiguous. Will be necessary to expend cycles to clarify relationships for codification of representative patterns before further recognition can be accomplished. This will be time-consuming, but past working relationships have shown an 83.23% favorable return. Work with file SH-187 was very instructive. We will contact you again when information has been collated. The Oracle would like to know your favorite color. Uh, that's not a new book. His locker code is still 2001. There's a bioelectric cell in here. Let's check the secret floor compartment. There's always something good down here. This time we find a lockpick and a 100 credit chit. Let's go talk to Alex now. Oh, he's not even here. Oh, we'll get the multi-tool off his desk at least. Next. I'd like to know what the feds are doing down in the cell block. Next, I'll talk to Sam Carter. Agent Denton, marvelous. In addition to an accuracy weapon modification, I've got a couple of multi-tools. Mr. Carter, can I ask you a question? Certain. I'm getting the impression that UNACO is focused more on military operations than law enforcement. The focus has shifted lately, I agree. The only way Anna would have been satisfied is if I'd executed every terrorist in Castle Clinton. The standing order seems to be shoot to kill. Direct intervention is always part of the game. In my day, we were just more civilized about it. Civilized. That's the word. I guess I was expecting a little more class from the world's anti-terrorist organization. We just have to strike a balance. Why don't I throw in an extra clip with those multitudes? I trust you will be able to judge when one or the other is appropriate for achieving mission objectives. I can't carry anything else right now. Hold on. I'm already fully loaded with ammo, that's why. He won't give you that clip if you were excessively violent in Castle Clinton. People react differently based on how you've been playing. Here, let's... Whoa. That was crazy. Oh my goodness. Sorry folks, I guess this means I've got a lot of talking left to do, but I'll speed through the conversations. I certainly didn't expect that just because I fired a shot off. 
I was here, Mr. I was Eddie. We've heard all this already. You'll have to wait a minute. Be quiet. I am trying to listen. We don't have to read everything or listen again, though, so that'll that'll speed me up catching up at least. A bureaucrat from Washington. See if he asks for any of our opinions. Wait in line. Be quiet. Just fire the arrogant son of a bitch. I wasn't exaggerating. He's our best agent. We don't need him. We've got his brother. And more are on the way. He knows nothing. I think he does. You should never have sent him to Hong Kong. Let's be sensible. We have to look at the whole record. Look, I understand. He was your pet project, but it's out of my hands. Now that the shipment's been lost... I know, I know. I will comply with the order. That's all I ask. Carry on. I'm going downstairs to interrogate the prisoners. I cannot wait forever. He will see you when he's ready. I am next. I am losing value. Agent Denton. You aren't needed. I am losing value. Manderley will give you your... I am next. I must attend to a... I am next. You aren't needed, Agent. I must attend to a sensitive matter. Hello, J. Our pilot Jock is waiting for you at the helipad. Let's not be hasty. He will improve. That's what you said about his brother. Let me say this once. That's a sore spot, and you know it. You should have listened to me. Ah, end of meeting. You have a lot to teach, JC. And that's why you're his partner. Nevertheless, I will submit my concerns in writing to Walton Simons, as I did regarding Paul. You have your orders for Mr. Manderley. If you see your brother... Get moving. Don't forget to check in with Carter Why and Reyes. Why are you still here? You have your orders. Why are you still here? Let me get back to work. I said carry on. I said carry on. I just want to make sure I don't inadvertently skip anything Why this time. Why are you still here? Back down to level three now. Agent Navarro was grinding gears over how you handle... Carry on, Agent. Don't listen to what they're saying about the... Sh Stop. Follow... I better make my rounds. I've already reported... I'd like to know what the feds are doing. Stop following me. Reyes said they took the bullet out. But I Thanks for talking to my friend. It's like a piece of ice. I knew what I was getting. He also said I lost my. Better I take a bullet. Dr. Reyes said they took the bullet. Just doing my job, sir. Thanks for talking to him. Looks pretty bad. By the way, we aren't in such shambles that we can't spare a few med kits. Check the storage closet. Just doing my job. You certainly made an. Thanks for talking to my. Looks like it's going to be a late. Thanks for talking to my. You certainly made an impression on the troops tonight. All right, we're done in there. Thinking down here might be a safe place to fire shot. Maybe not. This ain't over.
this ain't over. He was right here. What the hell happened? Trooper go, I wonder. They still have some terrorists downstairs. Ones you didn't kill in the statue. They told us to hang tight. Objectives remain, apparently. Okay, I think I think we're safe now. But Still not gonna quick save just yet. Agent Den. Well, inside this office is a bioelectric cell and some binoculars if you want them. As well as some darts. Agent? They may have to do more than that. Let's get all the way in the back and see if this is a safe spot to... I'm not even sure I'm using the right kind of ammo. You know what? I'm not gonna worry about it. I like Never to hear all the messages, Aura. but... Ready to load up? So let's check uh, their computer. We'll start with Gunther's account, G. Herman Zietgeist. No new email. And now we'll do Anna's, A. Navarra, password, Scris PC. From G. Herman, subject Denton. I am not sure what I think of our agent Denton. He is not like the brother, but seems too eager to prove that he may be better than us. I wonder if he understands what may be at stake here, Gunther. From Jay Manderley, subject mission objectives. Of primary importance in the upcoming operation is recovering all of the stolen ambrosia. If any falls into terrorist hands, it could be a potential tool for blackmail that would pose a serious security risk. However, our best intelligence indicates that Juan Lebedev, a known terrorist leader, is behind this galling attack. While the loss of the Ambrosia is a regrettable but salvageable incident, Lebedev poses a continuing threat to UNATCO. He is also a dangerous man, and if the operation should result in his termination rather than capture, there is no doubt that the agent responsible would be found to have acted appropriately and with the full force of the law, JM. Well, sorry about that little diversion. We're gonna defy orders and head back here. I don't think you're supposed to be down here, Agent. <clears throat> I won't say anything, but I think you should go. Manderley will chew us out if he finds out you were here. I don't think you're supposed to be down here, Agent. Manderley says only senior staff members can interview the prisoners. They won't talk. We've tried everything. I won't say anything if you go back there. I won't say anything. They won't talk. We've tried everything. Let's go check this out now. I have one question. They already asked. I don't know. One must admire a man who can keep a secret, because he has value. What you know more than others makes money, and gives you a measure of power. You Walton Simons, you think I could be bribed? Margaret Forsyth, under NSF protection in Queens. Your son Richard, attending Bronx Science. You see, I have a few relevant facts myself. Care to make a trade? You wouldn't dare. I'll give you... Two seconds to decide. Get out of here, Denton. This is none of your business. Time's up. Where is the NSF taking the Ambrosia? They asked me already. I don't know. Need I remind you that in the case of a national emergency, FEMA has a list of six million Americans who will be transported to detention centers? Your tabloids call it RX-84. Yeah, including the President, Congress, and the Supreme Court. In my position, I find it very easy to add names to that list. Go to hell.
The United States government has had emergency powers since World War II. We've never left a state of war. Speak for yourself. The federal government is just responding to a threat. A government should be about more than self-perpetuation. You will confess, by the way. I don't like to dirty my hands with that sort of thing, but you will confess. Certain intellectual properties, aside from the quantities of vaccine, concern me deeply. Has the NSF made any attempt at reverse engineering? Leave me alone. If you wanted to save people, you could have unloaded the whole shipment in Manhattan. Why the airlift? You said it yourself. Secrets are power. We have less civilized ways of making you talk. I am a patient man. Ask me if I care. But not that patient. You saw nothing, didn't? Report to the helipad. I wonder if he'll keep talking to us or not. Your turn. See what you can find out in Manhattan. plague eating at the minds of the American people is secessionism, regionalism, this new arrogance and sense of entitlement. Once the bug bites, you've already lost the patient. Do you have even a passing interest in doing your job? <laughs> Quit screwing around. Leave, damn it. <laughs> I think that's probably the last thing he says, but let's make sure. Quit screwing around. Yep. Manderley will chew us out if he finds out you were here. Alright, we're ready to leave. I me doing way up here. Hope this one turns out a little better. Hope this one turns out a little better. Your chopper's ready, Agent. <clears throat> Good luck out there. Give him hell, Denton. Good luck out there. Good to have you back. Long night, huh? Please do not keep us waiting. We are needed inside. Please do not keep us waiting. Please do not keep us waiting. Still haven't had a chance to clean my gun. Don't listen to what they're saying about the shootout in the park in Hell's Kitchen. Liberty Island is off limits. The island has been declared a crime scene. All right, we're ready to leave then. Let's go. you in bed. 
Battery Park. We know the NSF were moving material through here at one point. Seems like a good place to start looking. Alright. So... This is a good place. It's a great place to call it a section. It's the start of our second visit to Battery Park, which will eventually turn into a second visit to Hell's Kitchen, but... For now... Let me just update my saves, and we'll call that a section. I will see you guys next time. That's it for now. Bye-bye.